Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is just a quick public service announcement because I get lots of people asking me about this stuff. If you have missed one of the live streams that I have done, like this one here, for example, I, I get all sorts of comments always asking me, Dave, can you please upload the stream to YouTube because I missed it. I don't always upload my streams to YouTube. There are a variety of reasons for this, which may include parts of the stream being muted because of copyright reasons, or because I'm simply not happy with the broadcast quality, or all sorts of reasons that I might not want to upload it to YouTube. Um, however, that doesn't mean you can't watch it after the fact, even though the stream is over. I, I don't... It seems like a lot of people don't actually know this, pre pre presumably because they don't use Twitch very much, but... For those people, here is a pro tip. If you want to watch a stream that's already happened, and it's not been exported to YouTube, and you actually want to watch it in higher quality, because if I, even if I do export it to YouTube, it will be in a lower quality. So, because of YouTube's encoding bullshit, okay? So, that's that's also worth bearing in mind. If you want to watch it in a higher quality, you can go to Twitch to do it. So, in my case, you can go twitch.tv forward slash day for my channel. Or if you're too lazy to do that, you can go on my YouTube page here and you can click the Twitch icon there. And that will bring you to my Twitch page here. Ta-da! Which I'm currently hosting another streamer colleague of mine at the moment which is the thing whereby you can host them and then their stream gets relayed to your own channel um whatever so that's john fly doing his thing something to do with flight simulator apparently but if you go to videos up here and just close that in the bottom left there you will see all my previous broadcasts within the last i think it's like 30 days or something it might even be longer including all the highlighted broadcasts i've made that i wanted to save um for later you can see them all here, including the last one we did where we played Prey and the Witcher. So if you just click on this, then, hey presto, look, you can watch the stream in its entirety from start to finish, all four hours, 44 minutes and three seconds of it, if you so wish. And here on Twitch as well, what's awesome is they actually give you a chat replay as well, so you can see what the chat was saying the entire time, in real time, just as it was said at the time. So there you go. Uh, you've got all the quality options here that you could possibly want as well. Um, you can choose whether or not to use the HTML5 player. All sorts of stuff. So, And you can even you know, save a clip from the stream if you find something that you found amusing or whatever. So there you go. You can put it in theatre mode where it's bigger like this. So you've got the chat on this side and a larger version of the stream there. So yeah, I would recommend doing that. If you miss the stream and you're desperate to watch it, just do this. It's easier. Everybody wins. You get a higher quality stream than if I exported it to YouTube. I don't have to do as much work. And you get the chat replay. I do have one you may have noticed on the side of the stream there, but that doesn't always work. I think about half the streams I do, the plugin that controls this, for some reason doesn't actually want to work. So you don't always get this chat replay on the screen here. Um, so in that case, then you, you've got this, basically. So you know, to make up for that. So that's what I recommend doing. Uh, I'm, and I'm literally only making this because I think a lot of people are not aware that you can actually do this, but you can, so there you go. Anyway, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much, and I'll, uh, I'll catch you next time. ta -ra.